Today we're heading to Great Malvern for another three day adventure. We've got some great sightseeing planned for Saturday and Sunday we're going to Malvern Truck Fest where we're hoping to meet the internet sensation that is Trucker Tim. So let's get started. After the smooth drive down, even though we were delayed on the motorways a little bit, we've arrived at our campsite just outside Great Malvern, the Malvern Hills Caravan and Motorhome Club site. It's time to check in, set up the caravan and then we're going out for a little walk. With the caravan all set up, we're off to see the sights and we're heading to the Malvern Hills to see some of those fantastic views. The views from the Malvern Hills are absolutely spectacular. We parked the car at the Upper Beacon Road car park and just followed the trail up the hillside. Climbing past from the hill and getting on to Worcester Beacon, the highest point in Worcestershire. If you're ever in the area, this is a most visit spot. Now let's head back to the caravan for something to eat and possibly something I can eat. Here you can see Malvern. Morning everyone. It's Saturday. We've had a bit of a late start this morning because uh, we've chucked it down all night. So we had a leisurely start. We've had our breakfast. We're just on our way into Malvern. We can have a look down Malvern Priory and a look at the shop. In three quarters of a mile, turn right onto B4208. So we'll do that then. Uh, we're just passing Malvern Showground, the three counties showground. And that's where we'll be heading tomorrow when we go to Truck Fest. Can't wait for that one. So we'll see you in uh, Malvern. Well, we struck lucky this morning. We've just got into Malvern Park and we're in the middle of a food festival. Some Mexican food, some Greek food, quite looking at forward to the Greek food and uh, just over the top of the uh, kids play park there is the Bob's Curry Hut from the Indian food. Right, excuse us, we're going to get some food. Here we are in the middle of the park, we've just come across these characters. <laughs> Today we're visiting Great Malvern Priory, a beautiful and historic site. We'll also check out some local shops and cafes. It's all about soaking in the local culture and relaxing. In the 1530s, King Henry VIII needed money, and since the monasteries belonged to somebody else, the Pope, he decided to plunder them. Lack of money continued to be a problem over the next couple of centuries. This meant that barely any repairs or maintenance were carried out during this time. The growing popularity of the water cure in Melbourne brought people and money to the town. At the beginning of the 19th century, attempts to renovate the priory began. During World War II, the medieval stained glass were removed and stored in zinc light boxes. Precaution against bomb damage, preservation of the church fabric has continued throughout the 20th and 21st centuries. It's Truck Fest Day! We're heading over to the event now. Um, we're excited to see the trucks and hopefully 
made chocolate to him. Fantastic meeting Chuck and Tim. He's just as cool in person as he is online. Thanks for taking the time to chat with Tim. It's Monday morning and we're packing up to head home. It's been an amazing three days at Great Malvern, from sightseeing to truck fest. Have you been to Great Malvern or truck fest? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, this is Courtney and Christine saying safe travels and happy caravanning. Bye.